Hi, Jay here. Going to review this. I've been wanting to review this for a while. I actually bought this seven or eight months ago, put it back in the safe, and didn't think about it. But I got it, you know, as your their 22 match pistol or whatever people want to talk about. But I, I, I don't have many 22 pistols. I've got my uh, Ruger, Ruger, Walther P22, and I've had 22s go in and out of the safe, but you know, I didn't have really a dedicated 22. It's, I got a Ruger, I actually have two Rugers, but I never seem to take them out for some reason. Uh, one, because I had that uh, Ruger uh, Model 2, I think. Those things are a pain in the butt to take apart and clean. Well, anyway, what we have here is I went on Smith & Wesson Day to Gander Mountain, of all places, I know, I know, overpriced. But they were having Smith & Wesson Day. And one of the things was they had a percent discount, I don't know, it was five, ten percent that day because of the Smith & Wesson guys. And if you bought a pistol, they gave you a free Smith & Wesson bag. Which, that's swaggish, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, and I think that day they were also offering two magazines instead of one. Uh, free free mag or something. Which, if you go to Gander Mountain and you can get in on those deals, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, so anyway, this is a Smith & Wesson Model 22A1. Now, if you'll notice, most of these are sold with like a five inch barrel, the vast majority. Uh, this one's a seven inch barrel. And that's but the biggest reason I bought it is they had it on sale because nobody wants a seven inch. I don't know why, if you want an accurate, you know, it's a rail gun, I mean, look up here, and it's got adjustable sights. If you wanted an accurate 22, uh, you know, a seven inch would be better. But uh, nobody wanted it, so it was on sale. And then with the discount, and because I used a Gander Mountain card that I opened, which I promptly paid off and canceled, and I had like a $30 gift card, or maybe it was 50. Anyway, I wound up getting this stinking thing for like $110. <laughs> That's right. Um, in case you didn't know, the uh, it's a fixed barrel with a blowback, uh, the back part of the slide, um, full Picatinny across the top, adjustable uh, sight, iron sights. Uh, I would like something with a fiber optic in the front. They do sell them. You can replace it. Uh, it's a 10 shot. Comes with a stainless magazine. 10 shot. Uh, I like the magazines. Let me point this out. They've already got a built-in finger uh, stub so that you can load it one-handed. A lot of 22s, you gotta like either get a, a, a you know a handheld device or you gotta hold that little dot, man. Sometimes you get a, you know. So I like that. Um, I kind of like the gun. I mean, it's 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 a target pistol. This is maybe hunting, but I mean, this is not like a personal defense weapon. I guess it could be, but uh, I like it. It's got these uh, uh, rubber grips on it. They're nice and tacky, and even though a 22 doesn't kick much, it's very comfortable. Um, it's the mag release is right here in the front of the grip, which is which seems funky, but it's actually very easy to remember. It's very easy to operate too. It comes right out. Uh, on this side, you have the standard safety and the standard uh, slide release. And then there's nothing on this side. Um, so this is a single action only. Um, 10 shot, 22, seven inch barrel, long rifle, 22 long rifle. Model 22A1, no, 22A-1, made by Smith & Wesson. Um, and you'll see the shooting videos. I like it, especially what I paid for it. If y'all watch any of my videos, you know I'm a stinker on price, man. But uh, so I stole. This is another one that I got a good deal on. Um, I don't. Get, it sounds like I got good deals on everything, but I'm not gonna get on YouTube and say I got screwed. <laughs> yeah, I bought this. It was only seven hundred eighty dollars. Elvis touched it. Now I'm not gonna get on YouTube to tell you the ones I screw up on. But uh, on this one, it was pretty good. Um, so if you're in the market for one of these. I like it. I think the Rugers are a little bit better on the shorter ones. Um, I don't like the Rugers as far as some of the older designs, trying to take them apart and clean them. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. You, you, you push this button here, a front-mounted button. Oh, well, let me do it now because I got the slide open, slide shut. But uh, you push that and the slide just comes right off, the, the back part of the slide, and you clean it. The only thing I don't like, it's got this funky uh, uh, flat polyethylene plate about you know three quarter of an inch square maybe five eighths that's on the end of the uh, recoil spring and every so often you're supposed to replace it I don't get that but whatever um, 
you can read up on it on the boards. I'm not real sure about it myself. I just, it's something, I, brand new, so I haven't had to replace it yet. Today was the first day I shot this. But, uh, so I like it. Yeah, you know, if you can catch a Smith & Wesson day at Gander Mountain, um, that's excellent. I mean, I'm telling they got deals over there that, you know, shouldn't be at Gander Mountain, but they are. Uh, so anyway, this is Jay. Uh, watch the rest of the video of me shooting it. And have a good night, and keep on shooting. Go for it. Good.